my name is Aria and I haven't been on this channel for a while. Why is that? Because I've been very busy with uni work. Uni has been quite intense lately. So much drawing, so much animation. I'm making progress, I'm learning, I'm spending hours and hours at uni. Even when classes end, I'm there till like nine o'clock at night trying to finish up my work, but <laughs> I'm back. I've been at uni for about five months now. It's February and, or well, the end of February, I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's the end of February and um, I realized I haven't shown you my room. So uh, that's the video today. I'm gonna show you my room, give you a little room tour and show you what student accommodation kind of looks like. <laughs> because um, I've seen a lot of videos like this before I even moved into uni and they were videos that I really enjoyed watching. So hopefully you'll enjoy watching this video where I take you through my room and my shared kitchen because I live in a flat of about seven people at the moment. Yeah, seven. So I'll take you through my flat and my room and show you what I've gotten up to. <laughs> Before I take you on the tour, I am excited to announce that I am collaborating with a student accommodation service called Amber. To give you a little information about Amber, they are a platform which allows students to find accommodation near their universities. As Southeast Asia's largest student accommodation provider, they are operational in over 100 cities in Australia, Europe and the United States, with over 20k listings on their website. Amber provide a wide range of student accommodation options based on student preferences. This can include low to high budget options and flexibility in size and occupancy. Amber also provide free round the clock personalized assistance each step of the way. Students can benefit from Amber's student friendly initiatives such as the COVID-19 policy, which they are offering free cancellations and relief from visa related uncertainties. Amber's executives will not only be with you each step of the way, but they will take care of the paperwork, including lease agreements. So if you're a student looking for student accommodation, I encourage you to check out the link in my description, which will take you to Amber's page, where you can start receiving free personalized accommodation assistance. And speaking of accommodation, I will show you my room now. I just noticed that I match my poster. <laughs> so I'm in my hallway now. There's about seven flats here. And uh, this is my room. <laughs> so you walk in, and straight away you have the bathroom on your right. And I have a coat hanger here, my closet, the bed over there. And I really like the size of the room. I feel quite comfortable in this size. This is a silver ensuite, and I have a view down there that I'll show you in a moment, but let me take you through my bathroom first since we're right next to it. So, when you open the door, there's me, hi. We've got the toilets down there, and this giant mirror, which is amazing. I've, I love this mirror, and it's got LEDs all around it. So, yeah. There's loads of mirrors actually, there's some here too. <laughs> so you can see yourself in all angles. You've got a lovely large shower here, which is really nice. You've got a lot of space, it's not cramped. It's also got a door so the water doesn't flush, splash out. Um, and I've got the mat down there just in case, because I've had a couple of little in incidents where um, the water's kind of splashed out and flooded. But, um, you know, <laughs> we've resolved that issue. We'll move on. Um, we've got a nice sink here. I've got all of my hair products over here and in here as well. This is a little cabinet Because um, I've got curly hair. I've got a lot of products I need to maintain all of this <laughs> um, Yeah, just all my skincare is around here and this is a, a really good space bathroom, I think So let me take you through the rest of my room. So that's the bathroom. I'll close the door now. And next, you walk through. You've got another mirror here. They just love mirrors in this accommodation. 
but you know, it's good, it's good. Okay. And also we have this giant closet, which I'll show you the inside of, I hope it's not messy. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of clothes, they kind of fallen out and the closet keeps opening. A uh, bunch of random stuff up there, but like down here is all my clothes, there's a lot of space. And beneath that there's like extra drawers um, to put more clothes in, so you know, you have a lot of space here. And next is my desk. So this is my desk, um, it's currently just got all of my um, animation uh, supplies and stuff on it. Um, yeah, I'll just take you through all of this stuff. So yeah, that's my Cintiq, that's where I do all my digital art on. That is my laptop that I use with my Cintiq for all my uni work and all my digital art. Speaking of which, I need to post more, <laughs> so um, I'll need to get on that soon. Um, this is a tripod actually that uh, the university gave me um, because we need that for stop motion work which we haven't started yet but when we do this will be very useful but at the beginning of this video I used the tripod to record my video so it's also very useful in that way for videos and other unrelated animation stuff um, and this is this here is a light box it's not one of those big traditional ones that we use in the studio, but it's a little one that I have at home to do all of my animation work from home. It's very useful, um, I use it all the time because on our course we are doing mainly 2D animation work, like traditional 2D animation work. Think like early like 1950s Disney style animation. So this comes in handy all the time because we are not working digitally at the moment. I'll just pop that to the side if I move back out I've just got a bunch of pictures of friends over there and I've got my little plushies and um, toys and stuff all up here just as decoration I love Spongebob you can tell that I love cartoons and games and well this is my bed it's a three-quarter double bed so there's a lot of space, which is nice, you know, I can just lay there and roll around. <laughs> um, I've got my <laughs> more Spongebob toys and more toys in general. That's a plush that my sister gave me, so this is very special. <laughs> and my Spongebob plush from home that you've probably seen in my previous videos, um, pretty iconic. And my 90s Nickelodeon poster matching the shirt that I'm wearing today or the hoodie I should say but yeah you really walk in that's the link one from uh, Breath of the Wild um, but yeah when you walk into my room you can just you can just tell that I'm an animation student like yeah I'll give you a little view of what I can see from um, my window quite nice um, besides the fact that there's there's this big building blocking my sunlight but generally I get quite good lighting in here in the day um, somewhat complaining I think in the far distance you can see the beach but it's very far so you can't really call it uh, a sea view but you know we're like a, a very short walk from the beach so it's pretty nice <laughs> um, so that's generally my room I to be honest, haven't decorated it as much as I wanted to. I'm definitely gonna fill this up even more, add loads more pictures of my friends and just add more decoration here in general. Um, I need to uh, print more pictures to put up there. But my room is quite minimal, I would say. Um, there's not too much going on, but uh, yeah. I <laughs> I, I like the way I've decorated my room. It's quite simplistic. Oh yeah, let me not forget. There is a little alpaca over here with a little succulent inside of it. Uh, so yeah, that's um, decorating my room a lot. <laughs> but yeah, then I've got just random stuff over here. <laughs> uh, suitcases and stuff for when I move out. I can't believe I'll be moving out in like a couple months, like four months or something. I don't know <laughs> but this is generally what my room looks like um, let me also show you that there is under bed storage over here which is quite nice there's two sections of that which is very good I keep extra shoes and other things in there um, and on the desk there is little drawers underneath it um, 
yeah so I've got all my paperwork and um, additional drawings and stuff under there um, but yeah there is a lot of storage in this room which is great so you can hide everything and make it look more neat <laughs> Um, I also have room inspections this week, so um, yeah, I mean my room is generally like looking like this all the time. Uh, I'm quite clean, I would say. I like to take care of my room and make sure it's all clean. So I don't really have a problem when it comes to inspection, but I will show you my kitchen in a moment. I'm gonna give you a view of my whole room like this, so you can roughly um, gauge what size it is again it's um it's an ensuite room with a lovely view outside quite high up in the building but um yeah oh yeah up there is all my animation life drawing stuff we would do life drawing every week and we use large pieces of paper and it just takes up so much room so i just shoved it up there because i don't really need it anymore <laughs> because uh, I'm constantly creating it and I just need a space to store it but it's up there along with my uh, Cintiq box um, but yeah this is basically my room and I also have LED lights all across there which I will turn on and show you there we go it, it will look better in the dark let me turn off the light yeah <laughs> when I when I meant dark I meant like when it's actually dark but we've got lights so yes this is my room and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And now I will take you to my kitchen, which is definitely not going to be as neat as this, but it gives you a reality of what student accommodation looks like. And, um, you know, you're not always going to be living with uh, people who are very neat, exactly, or, you know, clean, off, clean up after themselves. But it's just the reality of living with people you don't know. And, um, I mean, I'm friends with everyone here. Don't get me wrong, but cleaning is something that, um, yeah, it doesn't really happen that often here. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like. So uh, follow, follow me. So here is my flat's kitchen that we share. Uh, as I said. Yeah, not the cleanest place, to be honest, but um, <laughs> hopefully um, we get round to it and uh, clean this abomination. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just the reality. I think I just should just show you like what the kitchen could look like if you move into student accommodation. Um, yeah, this is kind of been like this for the last couple of days <laughs> I don't think I showed this side of the kitchen but you get two fridges usually in a flat um, and yeah a giant notice board up there which says um, everyone's responsibility and there's like a cleaning rotor over there but um, yeah as you can tell <laughs> I don't think it's working but uh, yeah again a lovely view out there a lovely view up here um, so it's nice being in the kitchen sometimes, you know, especially when it's clean and not like this, but <laughs> there you go. Hi guys, I'm back in my room. I'm having breakfast, as you can see, when it's like three in the afternoon. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the room tour, the kitchen tour. And if you are interested in applying for student accommodation, if you're a university student, Make sure to check the link in the, in the description and check out Amber's platform for free personalized assistance using the link below. I'm gonna end the video here, but you'll see me on Ord's channel. Ord is my friend who does VFX at Arts University Bournemouth and I'll link her channel in the description. So if you're interested in seeing me and her together, we're planning on doing a Q&A. So if you're interested in that, please also check that in the link description. <laughs> The video description down below that's what i meant to say but with that i am gonna get ready for that so i will see you soon